So here's the thing. Sometimes you get really bored and you decide, I wonder if there's a movie about game wardens. And so I turn on my computer and I decide, It's time. I'm going to talk to you today about my favorite Gay Morbin movie. All jumbled and disconnected. Um, I don't know why this movie was made, who got it together, but it definitely changed my life. Alright, so I'm not sure who exactly is the star of the movie, but this movie stars a Mormon missionary and a queer as folk wanna be I'm serious this movie tries super hard to be like queer as folk you can see it in in the first few frames like the, the freaking zoom in and the gay partying okay I don't get it this movie stars gay Mormon missionary who's in the closet and random random gay guy who's super shallow, I guess. So, basically queer as folk. Okay, um, he's the gay Mormon missionary is coming to Los Angeles to do his, his mission. Okay, and, and the intro music sounds like porn music. Everything in this movie sounds like porn music. No, you I did not. Nasty little s Yeah. This is definitely... I, I'd say this is definitely I'm moving to a new city music. It's definitely not. I'm moving to a new city. Can you help me? <laughs> wow. Welcome to hell. Wow. Such symbolism. And it just... It cut... It... Okay, in the middle of him driving, it just cuts to, like, a, the gay guy, the, like, the out gay guy seducing some other guy. Okay, and, 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 like, he seduces him, and he's like, I'm straight, what are you doing? And I'm like, what do you expect? You're going into a house of a shirtless person. Why are you going in there? And then you get seduced, and it's like, what do you do? It's late at night. You just go to this guy's house so apparently what happened was that um, this guy wanted to go on a date with the girl next door but he accidentally went to the wrong apartment and the out gay guy was named Christian Christian wow wow he accidentally goes to Christian's apartment how does this interaction work? Like, hey, I'm here for a date. Um, I'm here to see Elizabeth. And then the out gay guy is like, oh, come in. Elizabeth is here. And then it's revealed that when it's revealed that he was the straight guy is supposed to be going on a date, the out gay guy is surprised that he... How did the straight guy... He just... He came into the apartment and was like, I'm here. And then the gay guy's like, oh, okay, you're here. I guess I'll just seduce this random person that shows up to my door. You know, if people show up to your door, the first thing I do, if people show up to my door, you know, anyone, the Amazon guy, whatever, he shows up to my door, I straight on go for that seduction. Straight. <laughs> you, you're such a good actor. You should consider being an actor. What does he do anyways? He just He's a waiter and goes to the gym. Like, how do you afford an apartment and like to live in Los Angeles as a waiter only by night? Who are you? So he ends up, you know, like getting dirty with a straight guy and, and he looks angry. This is 243B. As in blowjob. B, as in bad movie. Please turn it off. Alright, so the gay guy's a waiter. And he has lots of waiter friends. You have the magical gay who, um... Talks about Madonna because he's gay. Wow! 
girl, straight girl, and other straight girl, and there's this random lady who I think is the owner. What are you doing? Your employees are incompetent. Who are you? Okay, so apparently the whole time that the, the Mormon guy was driving, the sex scene happened between the straight guy and the gay guy, and he had enough time to go back to his job and like... And the car scene happened through all of that. The, the Mormon guy was, you know, staring at Los Angeles, being like, yeah, this is my montage. Oh, and um, Joseph Gordon-Levitt is in this movie. And so is, uh, it's all you sunny in Philadelphia guy, uh, Rob, like, whatever, Irish name. Very interesting. I wonder... What did they have to do to get him in this movie? Suspicious. Very tricky. So there's a few Mormons. One of them, who never shows up again. Mac, Joseph Gordon Levitt. The main guy is from Idaho. They could have picked Utah. It's too easy. It's too easy! <laughs> It's too easy to go for Utah. You know, you thought we were gonna go for that Utah? Nah, this guy's from Idaho. See those flipping shorts he was wearing? Wow, they're making fun of his outfit? Even though he's supposed to be shallow? He doesn't care about anything. Dude, he's so freaking cool. And like, this never happened, this never comes up again. The fact that he, he gets sad because they're making fun of him, it doesn't matter. He still becomes friends with the guy. But this never gets brought up again. This dynamic, abandoned. Abandoned. That's how I like my movies. You throw it in, you bring it out, you stop it. You just stop talking about it. There was the most adorable man, Daniel, here this evening. I thought I might introduce you. Who are you? So there's this bet that they have that the, the gay guy can so the waiters bet if the gay guy can get with the Mormon guy. And that's brought up. The fact that he was using him to win a bet is brought up once at the end and then never discussed. But that's how we get the ball rolling. That's how we get gay guy to want to seduce the Mormon guy. That's the incentive here. 50 buck, $50 bet. Um, There were better ways they could have have a coming becoming love of your life with someone under false pretenses and then not res not having that ever come up or having the Mormon guy ever know that never bring it up in the movie I love it so apparently his friend 2003 girl or whatever um, has 50 bucks writing on whether or not he can get dirty with the Mormon and so the 2003 girl obviously wants to initiate th this conversation to happen. They talk with the missionary guy and he's like, Yeah, maybe we'll come talk to you about our church. That he just leaves. Yeah, we'll talk to you about our church. Uh, well, maybe we could come talk to you. You know, we would like that. Sure. Okay. Bye. Not even bye. Uh, we'll come talk to you about our church. Who are you? What's the Mormon church's stand on black people? That's gonna be a... It's gonna be a... Big yikes for me, my family. To be quite honest, it's gonna be a huge yikes. God hates homos. Okay, I'm gay. <laughs> That's not how you convert people to your church. And I think, you know, um, most Mormon missionaries know not to do that. Hello. You're gonna come into my house and tell me God hates homosexuals? And the French. God hates the French. <laughs> they surrendered in World War II. <laughs> French Revolution. Hey guys, the French suck. Enough. The gay guys and the 2003 girl and the Mormons decide to have a basketball fight, and to be honest, 
I liked it better in American History X, but... Yeah, we're playing here. And you're just farting around. And they, they just use it as a device so that a uh, gay guy can hug Mormon guy. Why is he sleeping on the washing machine? Just do your laundry and like, go to bed, dude. Who are you? Could be worse. Could be raining. That's young Frankenstein. <laughs> They're bonding over movies. <laughs> um, and a very unnecessary scene happened where Mac starts talking about how horny he is. Some nights I wake up and I find teeth marks on my headboard. Shut up and go make your show. Oh, he dropped his mail. Is he is he gonna s seductively reach for it and, and like bend, do a bend, bend and snap? Oh, he he reaches in the the opposite direction, so he can't do a bend and snap because he's it's not facing him. Right direction. Oh, that shit! It's not what I thought. Jesus this Christ! Was, this, this, this Sorry, I snagged myself. Looks like you're bleeding. Okay. Um, no, I'm fine. Just go back to your reading. What? You, you didn't even fall in the right direction. He was already. He already sat down. So he's going down this way. He's sitting. He's already gonna sit. And he felt this. Could they just move the camera? They want to get this shot. So they go on like fanfiction.net and then look at all the tropes and like look at how the fanfiction writers get their romantic interests to get together because I've read this a few times on various fan made works. I don't like it. Let's get out of here. But in the inside, you're, you're nothing but fluff. You're like, you're like a walking, talking marshmallow peep. Wonderful. Oh, you showed him, man. He's sweet and fluffy. So you believe in God? You mean other than Madonna? <laughs> other than Madonna. Other than Celine Dion. Other than Bet Midler, Barbara, Cher, other than, other uh, than Streisand. So apparently, the the restaurant owner is happens to be at the hospital where the gay Mormon guy wants to do his do a little bit of missioning, and so they have a little heart to heart, and he talks about dots. Dots. And she's like, "Come for a free meal," and he's like, "Yeah, I will. This will be important later. Can you tell?" More colors and whites. We don't mix. Yikes! Maybe this movie he should have had an editor or somebody who like uh, proofreads things and and says yikes. Let's not do this and put it there and then say it in that way because. So apparently the gay Mormon guy has changed this guy for the better because now he wants to have a conversation before his his hookups. Conversation? Whoa. Now you're freaking me out. Give him an Oscar, dude. Hey, let's meet up at the Mormon guy's house and make out in the middle of the room when we knew all the other Mormon guys were coming. Because that's a really good idea. You're too late anyway. His flight left ten minutes ago. Is any help? There's a five-hour layover in Salt Lake. So, shallow gay guys, Chases Mormon gay guy. It's Salt Lake City. It's a long drive. And they declare their love for each other and they have a kiss. And like, it feels like the movie should have ended here. And I, if I'm being honest, I watched this movie like three years ago when I was really in the Book of Mormon. And I was like, man, I want to see like gay Mormon shit. And so I looked up, is there a gay Mormon movie? And I found this movie and I watched it. And I watched it up to here and I'm like, what could happen at from this love declaration in the snow that would feel like a satisfying ending? I why would you drag me through this and then make me go through more stuff when I've already we've already resolved 
it feels like the first half had a conflict, and that conflict was the, the shallow guy and himself trying to- SHUT UP! Good afternoon, I'm calling on behalf of the Remodeling Center for a local licensed pulling shirt contracting company. I just wanted to see if we could get you a free estimate for any work you might be looking to do on your home. No thanks, I'm watching a gay Mormon love story. Alright, the first half, central conflict, was gay shallow guy trying to not be shallow. That's resolved. They introduce a new conflict, which is the gay Mormon guy's family. I'll be honest, the first half is... Yikes, but it's... Eh. Like, I can watch it, and then feel really bad about it afterwards, but I'll watch it. But the second half is like, I need to... The eternal sunshine of the spotless mind is out of my brain, and just like, put the memory away in a little cupboard and then close the cupboard and then burn the house and of course this movie can't end without a little you know uh... how long did we go at about six and a half minutes oh and this movie can't end without a little of uh, theological discussion what god do you believe in Alright, so when the, the gay guy wakes up, the Mormon guy isn't there. So the Mormon guy just kind of, like, he just skedaddled. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna go get excommunicated. I know that I'll have a better life in Los Angeles with this gay guy, but I'm gonna go get excommunicated. And get excommunicated. And he got excommunicated. Not to mention the shame you brought to this church. Our ancestors. Dad, your grandfather had half a dozen wives. Wow, it took a whole hour to get to a polygamy joke. What kind of Mormon movie is this? What did he do to you? Uh, um, so this Mormon family is like a walking stereotype. She tells him that God hates him. <laughs> he gets slapped in the face. It's a little bit heavy. It got so heavy that I almost for a second had a little bit of suspension of disbelief. Only for a second. The rest of it, suspension of disbelief, is broken. But I mean, for a little bit, it's like, ooh, ooh, ooh. it's 2 a.m. I don't want to deal with emotions. So the Mormon guy attempts to take his life. They send him to and they send him to anti gay whatever camp. I don't like that. I don't like why does every gay movie have to have like a bit part? Like I know Gay people go through things. I know. But can we just have like a nice gay Mormon movie? Like, like a little bit of just one. We can have a few sad ones and realistic, edgy ones, but I just want one where they run off into the sunset together. We knew a movie about gay Mormons would be so sad, dude. Alright, so here's what happens. The mom tells Christian, the shallow gay guy, that the gay Mormon guy is dead. And the shallow gay guy is sad, obviously. So he writes in his journals like, man, I'm sad. This guy I knew for two weeks is dead. The love of my life that I interacted with for like three scenes is gone and then so the 2003 best friend girl is like hey i'm gonna use this in my songs and then she tells shallow gay guy and shallow gay's like hey don't and that never gets resolved again the last scene between them is them crying and him being mad at her and then that never gets like resolved but okay and then the, the gay Mormon guy, he's in the 
the center of not homosexuals, and he sees a, a, a music video playing, and it's 2003 girls singing about journals that shallow gay wrote about Mormon gay. And so Mormon gay is like, wow, I need to get out of town. And he does, and he goes to LA, and they reunite. Here's what the thing. So the, so the Mormon gay goes to LA, goes to shallow gay's apartment, sees that there's another guy there, doesn't get mad, he's just kind of like, man, this sucks. So he goes to the restaurant he uses the he uses the lady who is crying. He's like, man, I should take her up on that offer for a free meal. And he goes there, and that's the restaurant where Shallow Gay works. And so he sees Shallow Gay there, and he's not like, and 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 then Mormon Gay is like, why is there another guy there? And then Shallow Gay is like, I'm subletting the place. And then they hug. I'm like, what was the point of that? I didn't. Why? Why would you take me on this roller coaster? The misunderstanding lasted like 10 minutes. And then they have like a, they have like a Christmas dinner or something. And I guess Mormon gay is jobless and homeless now. Um, and familyless. Who are you? It ends. So too does my dignity.